The people come and go, drifting in and out, shaking hands, drinking and eating and looking at the dead man, saying, what a lovely corpse he is. <laughs> and doesn't he look happy now that his end has come? And who was it that laid him out? They talk of the forecast and the moisture content in corn, of mill quotas in the next general election. I feel myself getting heavy on Kinsella's lap. Am I getting heavy? Heavy, he says. You're like a feather child, stay where you are. I put my head against him, but I'm bored and wish there were things to do other children who would play. The girl's getting uneasy, I hear the woman say. What's ailing her? says another. Ah, it's no place for the child, really, she says. It's just I didn't like not to come and I wouldn't leave her behind. Sure, I'll take her home with me, Ed, and I'm going now. Can't you call in and collect her on your way? Oh, she says, I don't know, should I? Mine would be a bit of company for her. Can't they play away out the back? And that man there won't budge as long as he has her on his knee. Mrs. Kinsella laughs. I've never really heard her laugh. Sure, maybe, if you wouldn't mind, you would, Mildred, she says. What harm is in it? And you know, we'll not be long after you. Not a bother, says the woman. When we are out on the road and the goodbyes are said, Mildred strides on into a pace I can just about keep, and as soon as she rounds the bend, the questions start. She is eaten alive with curiosity. <laughs> Hardly is one question answered before the next is fired. <coughs> Which room did they put you into? Did Kinsella give you money? How much? Does she drink at night? Does he? Are they playing cards much up there? Who was there? What were they selling the lines for? Did you say the rosary? Did she put butter or margarine in the pastry? <laughs> <laughs> Where does the old dog sleep? Is the freezer packed solid? Does she skimp on things or is she allowed to spend? Are the child's clothes still hanging in the wardrobe? I answer them all easily until the last. The child's clothes. Aye, she says. Sure, if you're sleeping in his room, you must surely know. Did you not look? Well, she had clothes I wore for all the time I was here. But we went to Gory this morning and bought all new things. This rig out you're wearing now. God almighty, she says. Anybody would think you were going on for a hundred. I like it, I say. They told me it was flattering. Flattering, is it? Well, she says, I suppose it is after living in the dead's clothes all this time. What? The Kinsler's young lad, you dope. Did you not know? 